Hello guys, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography and here I have a full frame camera and here I have a micro four thirds camera. They are both pro grade cameras, they're both professional quality cameras. But this one has got a full frame sensor, it's got 30.4 megapixels. This one has got a micro four thirds sensor and it's got 20.4 megapixels. So there's 10 megapixels of difference here. Now 20 megapixels is going to print all of the common sizes for you. So why do you need the extra 10 megapixels? Does it really make a difference when you're working professionally and you're printing really big? Well, in this video, we are gonna put that to the test because this one here, this is the Canon 5D Mark for this camera with a decent lens is going to set you back four thousand pounds plus whereas this one here is the olympus omd em1 mark ii this with a decent lens is going to set you back around two thousand pounds so this is like twice the price it's it's really heavy as well and it's much bigger so let's put it to the test in a professional job and see if they both perform really well when printing big. So I've got an exhibition coming up where my current documentary project of Southend on Sea, which is where we are now, is gonna be juxtaposed against the work of Josef Kadelka, who did a similar project back in the 70s. I've been asked to provide 40 images for the show and then pictures, then prints are gonna be printed at one meter along its longest edge. So today, I'm gonna to spend the day in South End. I'm gonna take some shots with this camera here, with the micro four thirds camera. I'm gonna take some shots with this camera here, the full frame camera. Then we're gonna to go to the printers and we're gonna get these professionally printed a meter big each one. And we're gonna compare and see how this camera performs against this camera on, in, on a professional level when it comes to print size. Now, I can't walk around and do a documentary project with a film camera filming me. I will stand out like a sore thumb. So I'm gonna spend the day walking around, taking some shots, then I'm gonna come back to you and show you the shots. Okay, so I'll see you soon. So I've had a really good day shooting for this project and it even became overcast at parts of the day so I've got a good variation of shots and I had time to do a little bit of filming for you so I hope you enjoyed that. Let's um, first of all talk about a couple of the shots I took on the full frame camera here. First one that I like and I think is gonna go to print is one of a zebra crossing down there and I really like the balance of this shot and I waited for someone to walk into the picture so that it was kind of a contradiction to the one-way sign so that picture is possibly going to go to print and another picture that I really like that I took with the full frame camera here was a portrait of this older man sitting on the wall he looked like a really good character had some wicked sideburns on him and I just like the way he dressed so I asked if I could take his portrait and as I took the portrait the wind caught his hair and it just flipped over the side of his head which again I think adds to the picture and when I'm taking portraits for documentary projects like this this is what I look for I just look for that character that I feel has got some kind of story behind them and that's what I felt with this particular guy and there must be a story behind that facade of his face so that was a great shot and I think that that one's going to go to print as well now let's talk about a couple of the pictures I took with this camera here with this micro four thirds camera and for the sake of this project I'm shooting at an aspect ratio of three over 
two. So the chip on this is an aspect ratio of four over three, but I've changed it to shoot at three over two, and that's because I need them all to match. So the first picture that I took with this was of this really cool old Victorian bus shelter. And clearly I could see that someone was living there because what you see was the remnants of well of their stuff I suppose and I really liked the fact that, that this picture this Victorian bus shelter has got some kind of history to it some kind of recent history someone has recently used it as their home so it's like this calm scene where there is some kind of backstory to it and that's what I liked about that particular picture and I think that one's going to go to print. The next picture I want to show you that I thought was really cool was this picture of an old graffitied up van and in the background of that van is a tower block and I just really liked the kind of muted colours of the scene if you like, you said they all seem to match and it was just the fact that this van was rusty, graffitied up and sitting in front of a tower block. It kind of tells you a bit about this working class area that I'm in on South End on Sea which is actually quite similar to a lot of seaside towns in England and that is what I'm trying to capture here. I'm trying to capture the English seaside town and all of that diversity that comes with it. The next picture I liked which I took with the Olympus camera was this portrait of a security guard at the local fun fair here. Again, I thought he was a great character and actually talking to him, he was a really, really great guy. But I also liked the bright yellow coat against the blue background. They're not quite complementary colors, but they do really contrast against each other. So that was another reason why I wanted to show, um, to take that shot. That possibly might go to print. I'm not 100% on that one at this moment in time. I'll have to have a little think about it. So now I'm going to process these pictures and send them to print. And just so that you know, they've all taken on raw and I do very little to them in Lightroom. I might put some contrast, sharpen them up, maybe some color um, saturation, maybe boost up the colors a little bit, but I want them to be as natural as possible. So very little post-production is done to them. And now all that's left to do is to send them off to print and then we will go to the print lab and we will look at these pictures. The other thing I'm gonna do is, the printer that I go to, I'm gonna tell him not to look at the metadata of these pictures, not that he would anyway, but just to make sure, so that he doesn't know what pictures have been taken with what camera, and I'm gonna get his opinion on the pictures and see if he knows the difference, and if anyone should know, he should know because he does it all the time. So, let's go to the print lab, and have a look at these prints. So the pictures are processed and I've sent them off to the printers. I'm gonna go and get them in a minute. But before we do, I wanna to talk to you about the courses that we run over at theschooloffotography.com. Now we are professional teachers and we teach you in a structured way so that you learn photography properly. We've got courses in photography, Lightroom, Photoshop, Studio Lighting and everything photography based. So come over and check us out. We've got loads of freebies as well so you can try before you buy. Okay, let's go and get these prints. So we are in the print lab and let me introduce you to Roger here. All right. Roger is the guy who is printing all of the stuff for the exhibition and the prints are looking fantastic. Now, for um, quality assurance, or whatever you call it, let's just establish, Roger, you do not know what camera I've used for any of these. Uh... I have no idea whatsoever. Okay, good stuff. So, we are now going to compare the prints. So they've all been printed, they are a meter along its longest edge here, and let's have a look at them, shall we, yeah, Roger? absolutely. But, I mean, at first glance, to me, they look fantastic, but let's get close up, all right? So I don't know if you want to start that end. I'll start that end. We'll have a good look at them. Okay. And the idea is that, well, we're going to see if there's a difference between the two cameras and Roger is going to see if there's any difference between all the prints. Let's go. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. 
colours are absolutely fantastic for a start. Got some incredible detail here. The sharp areas, the focus points, okay? Yeah. It's crisp there. It's crisp there. It's crisp. Well, that, I don't know if that's my my my, uh, my photography or the print. Um, well, I'd rather you said that. Yeah. <laughs> it looks fine. I think I might have missed the focus point to be honest, but like by a real slight amount. And then over here, the 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 focus point is around the middle of the print, isn't it? And again, crisp as you like. Yeah. Right? I mean, it, it's spot on. The the detail is incredible. We've had a good look at these pictures, right? So it's over to you, Roger. Yeah. I know what camera's been used <laughs> for each of these pictures. You don't. I mean, firstly, what's your initial thoughts on these prints as, as far as, because you're used to seeing um, quality prints, obviously. Yeah. What's your first sort of view on the quality of the image, you know, of the printing of these images, you know? The, the quality is top grade. You, you couldn't get any more detail and I would find it impossible to tell that they were taken with different pieces of kit. Yeah, Do you know, I, I actually, I have to agree, to be honest with you, I have to agree. I mean, you, you'd have to have some serious eyesight. I can't see it. I can't see, personally, any difference between any of these pictures, any of these prints. I mean, it's unbelievable. Right, go on. Two of these have been taken with a Canon 5D Mark IV full frame camera. Two of these have been taken with Micro Four Thirds camera, the Olympus camera. I mean, this is going to be a stab in the dark, I could tell, but go for it. What do you think? I'd go the alternate ones. Um, I'd say those were the Olympus, those were the Canon. Well, Roger. Completely you, wrong? Well, not completely wrong, <laughs> but I could tell it's just a total guess. Of it, course really. it was, yeah. Um, these two in the middle, yep. the Micro Four Thirds, the two at the end, are the full frame. I, can't, I actually can't believe it. I thought it was going to see a difference. I honestly thought that there was going to be a difference here in, in the printing when you're printing them that big because f f the technical uh, lot amongst you, you know, you are going beyond the pixels printing this big, particularly with, that, with the Micro Four Thirds camera. But printed at high quality, professionally done, no one is going to tell no difference, are they? No one's going to tell any difference. So, well, there you go. So I hope that this has helped you out. I cannot believe it. This is a God's honest truth here. The results are stunning. That picture over there has got 30 megapixels, 30.4 megapixels if you want to get picky. This one over here has got 20.4 megapixels. You cannot tell the difference. I absolutely promise you. It's unbelievable. And I just want to say thanks to Roger for printing all of these for us for the exhibition. It's gonna be a fantastic, I really can't wait for the exhibition. And thanks for putting your professional um, eye over it and being in our video for That's that. Great. It's, been, uh, it's been great. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, like it and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell button, because if you don't do all of them things, we can't bring you these videos. So please do that for us. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.